Get ready for a thrilling sneak peek into the world of Blue Beetle 2. Have you ever wondered what's next for Jamie Reyes and his superhero journey? Well, we've got some exciting hints and insights for you. So let's dive right in and explore the possibilities that lie ahead in the DC Universe. But first, and the most important question, will the DCU make Blue Beetle 2? After the release of DCU's Blue Beetle movie, people are wondering if there will be a second movie that continues the story of Jamie Reyes as a superhero. The mid credit scene in Blue Beetle hints at a sequel, giving us a surprise that makes a follow-up movie likely. Now, the big question is whether the creators, James Gunn and Peter Safran, will keep their promise that Zolo Maraduena's new hero will come back in the new DC movie series. Angel Manuel Soto directed Blue Beetle, a movie that shows how Jamie Reyes becomes a superhero and fights bad guys. The movie's ending might be the end of Jamie's story, but if it is, it would be a waste for DCU to not make more movies about new heroes. This has happened before, where extra scenes after the movie don't lead to anything. Thankfully, there's a good chance we'll get Blue Beetle 2 or another movie about him, which is exciting. By the way guys, if you're excited about Blue Beetle and want to know more, make sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. But hold on, before we dive into the details of the Beetle sequel, let's take a look at how the ending of Blue Beetle sets things up for a potential sequel. In the DC Universe, a new hero named Jamie Reyes emerges in Blue Beetle. The movie's ending shows him defeating his first villains and hinting at what's to come. Set within the DCEU movie timeline, Blue Beetle tells the story of Jamie Reyes, a young guy who becomes a superhero after getting connected to an alien scarab that gives him powers. The scarab was stolen, and this causes problems with Cord Industries CEO Victoria Cord, played by Susan Sarandon, and her helper Conrad Carapax, played by Raul Trujillo. This leads to Jamie losing his dad and discovering the history of the Blue Beetle legacy. In Blue Beetle's ending, after Jamie is captured by Victoria and Carapax, who want to use the Scarab's power, his friend Jennifer and his family come up with a plan to save him. Jamie gets stuck in a machine that's supposed to give Victoria control over the Scarab's abilities, but he manages to escape. He fights against his enemies, and his friends also join in to help. The ending of Blue Beetle leads to a big fight between the good guys and the bad guys, and it hints at what might happen next in the DC Universe. The majority of the ending of the Blue Beetle is about solving the main problems and giving the characters a happy ending. But even in these moments, there's a chance for the movie to show what could happen to Jamie Reyes in the future, and how things might continue in a possible Blue Beetle 2. Remember, this movie is about how Jamie becomes a superhero, so there are probably more stories with Zolo Maraduena's hero coming. How the story moves forward towards the end, and where it leaves Jamie and the series, gives us clues about what might happen in the next parts. But the main question is, will Blue Beetle 2 actually happen? In an interview with Yahoo Entertainment, Soto mentioned that they're aiming for a whole series of three Blue Beetle movies after this first one that introduces the character's origin. The way the machine works, the first movie needs to make money for them to put more money in, but for us, we've always seen it that way. We love the story so much. We believe in the product so much. We believe in an actor so much. We couldn't help but think about where his journey was going to go while we were creating this film. James Gunn, at the premiere of Blue Beetle, repeated what he previously said about Blue Beetle being the first DCU character. This means that Zolo Maraduena's superhero will continue to be a part of the DC universe. James Gunn also shared this on Instagram to emphasize the point. I can't wait for audiences to meet Jamie Reyes, who will be an amazing part of the DCU going forward. If Blue Beetle does well in terms of ticket sales, Soto intends to make two more movies to complete Jamie Reyes' story as a trilogy. This is quite thrilling, especially since fans have been showing a lot of excitement for the film, like with the online trend called Hashtag Blue Beetle Battalion. With that, let's see who can return. Even though the villains Victoria Cord and Conrad Carapax are defeated in Blue Beetle and Jamie Reyes' dad tragically dies, it's expected that most of Jamie's family would return if there was a Blue Beetle too. This includes his uncle Rudy, played by George Lopez, younger sister Milagro, played by Belissa Escobedo, mother Rocio, played by Elpidia Carrillo, and Nana, played by Adriana Barraza. It's also likely that Jamie's love interest, Jenny Cord, played by Bruna Marquezine, 
and Dr. Sanchez, played by Harvey Guillén, would come back due to the mid credit scene. The main question for Blue Beetle 2's cast is who would play Ted Cord, the original Blue Beetle, who's shown to be alive in the mid credit scene. There were rumors about Jason Sudeikis playing this role, but those rumors have been proven false. There's also a chance that Booster Gold could appear in the sequel before his own DCU project. So how does Blue Beetle fit into the new DC Universe? Even though there aren't many connections, Blue Beetle is confirmed to be a part of the larger DC Universe, and this is suggested through a few references. After his first fight as Blue Beetle with the scarab named Kajida, voiced by Becky G, Jamie Reyes mentions Superman, who also has the ability to fly. Similarly, connections to other DC heroes are shown when Jamie and his Uncle Rudy are taken to Ted Kord's secret base by his daughter Jenny. Uncle Rudy brings up Superman and Metropolis, as well as Flash and Central City, comparing them to Ted Kord's Blue Beetle, who isn't seen as a great hero in Palmera City, where Kord Industries is located. Batman's Gotham City is mentioned through a sweatshirt Jamie wears, revealing he studied at Gotham Law for college. But Uncle Rudy thinks Batman is strict, while Kord's Beetle with his gadgets is more fun because Kord has a better sense of humor. DC's history of Blue Beetle heroes is mentioned. Dan Garrett, an archaeologist, found the scarab and became the first Blue Beetle with the scarab's power. Ted Kord, a student of Dan's, became the second Blue Beetle without the scarab's power, using his money to create gadgets. At some point, Ted disappeared, and during the events of Blue Beetle, the scarab chose Jamie. The ending scene suggests there's more to discover about the Blue Beetle legacy in potential DCU sequels. Well, is there any way to predict the release date of Blue Beetle 2? Currently, Blue Beetle 2 is just an idea because the first movie is still being tested at the box office. If DC Studios officially decides to make a sequel, it's tough to predict the release date due to the many upcoming projects in the DC Universe. James Gunn and Peter Safran announced a bunch of new shows and movies in 2023, making it unclear where Blue Beetle 2 could fit in. But if the first Blue Beetle movie is a big success, they might make the sequel right after Superman Legacy. And that's a sneak peek into what might come in Blue Beetle 2, and how it could fit into the big DC Universe. The ending of the first movie and the hints in the mid credit scene make us hopeful for a sequel. While we're waiting to hear more about Blue Beetle 2, let's think. What adventures could Jamie have next? How will his story connect with other DC heroes? Share your thoughts in the comment section, and stay tuned for updates, and imagine all the cool things that could happen in the world of Blue Beetle.